If you've been looking to get better results from your paid advertising campaigns, pay close attention because in this video, I'm going to share three easy ways that you can improve the results from your online ad campaigns. Number one, ensure that you are maintaining ad relevancy with the landing page of the ad. Now, this seems like common sense, but a lot of people forget to do this and it really hurts their results. What am I talking about here? Well, Google refers to this as a quality score, but essentially the content of your ads, the messaging, the visual media that you use should be reflective of the target landing page that you are sending that traffic to. So Google uses AI, some of the other um, platforms will also use their al algorithms to check, but essentially if you're talking about something in your ad, it should also be consistent with what is going to be shown on the landing page that ad takes them to. Now, the algorithm is just one aspect that you wanna be concerned about. The second is actually the user experience because if someone reads your ad, someone gets hooked, captivated by your ad, and then goes to a landing page that has a bit of a, a disconnect from what they were just seeing in the ad, your conversions are going to drop, your bounce rate is going to go sky high, and as a result, your cost per click, your cost per milli is going to be a lot higher than if you had proper ad relevancy. Now, the second way that you can get greater results from your paid ads is to use scroll stopping visual media. What do I mean? Well, essentially, whether it's on Meta, like Facebook and Instagram, or Google, or Pinterest, or TikTok, whatever you're advertising on, most likely the person you're targeting is consuming a lot of content. They're probably scrolling, right? And what you are looking to do is stop that scroll. And that is where the key aspect of the visual media you use comes in. You essentially want to either spark curiosity, get them entertained, something that they see your video, see your image, and they stop. And in that split second, they might look at your ad description, they might look at your ad headline, and they're gonna decide, is this relevant to my situation of what I'm looking for, yes or no? And if it is, now you've got that hook where you can get them to potentially click your ad, go to the landing page, right? So make sure you're using scroll stopping visual media. And last but not least, create 10 or more variations of each ad in the campaign. Now, Meta has released data on this before, but essentially a lot of people, when they create an ad campaign, will come up with one version of the ad description, one headline, and they use one image and they say, go, and they'll put it out into the universe and they'll hope to get good results from it. And oftentimes they might get mediocre results, but rarely will they crush it on the first attempt. Now, Meta, based on their analytics, has shown that when you create 10 or more variations of an ad, the likelihood of that ad performing and crushing the benchmarks is exponentially better. So we're talking about multiple variations of your ad description, multiple variations of your headline, and of your visual media, your scroll stopping visual media. So you can see how when you combine all three of them together, you start getting better engagement, better cost per click most likely, better relevancy, and better results. Now, this might seem overwhelming. A lot of clients that approach me to get help often find this also time consuming, which is why I created an automated solution for this that I will show you right now if you're curious. So let's say I wanted to promote this website. So myyogateacher.com, if I was working with a client and they said, hey, I wanna promote this online program for yoga, they've got group classes, one-on-one -on -one sessions, et cetera, et cetera. As you can see, you can replace this with any sort of niche that's out there, but it gives you an idea of a pretty common info product based business. So coming over into my platform, I would pick one of the various advertising uh, options available. So in this case, let's say I chose Facebook. Now I've got a, a previous ad that I've done before, but I'll say, come over to generate new ad. I will clear these out and I'm going to pop in some of the stuff from that yoga website. So I will replace this. And essentially all I'm doing is I'm giving the platform some basic information about what I would like to promote. Now I can either manually type in the description or let the AI review the website, review the context I just gave it, 
and now it's going to come up with a description of most likely what this website is about that I'm offering this solution, this product, event, idea, etc. So you can see that it comes up with a description. I could add to it if I wanted to. I could also dive deeper into actually what the offer is. All I'm going to do from here is click generate content. So now the AI is being given the context around the website. Now it's going to do a bit of a deep dive into getting an understanding of what the offer is, who the ideal target market most likely is. And now it's going to start generating the variations of the ad sales copy. So it's going to come up with different headlines, different descriptions. And now you can start seeing how easy it is to create a relevant ad that's literally based off of what the landing page is going to be that you're sending that traffic to, as opposed to coming up with a creative entertaining ad that might have a disconnect with what you're actually trying to promote. So just like that, the platform is done. You can see that it has recommended some targeting options. If I wanted to, I could come in here and I could edit these, do retargeting, pick different suggestions, all kinds of fun. I could also change the goal of this ad campaign if I wanted to, to generate more leads, sales conversions, etc. but I'll leave it on traffic. Now, the next thing is that scroll stopping media. Now within the platform, you do get access to unlimited stock media from Shutterstock. So I could say, grab some yoga videos from Shutterstock that I thought might capture the attention of my ideal audience for this ad, right? So just like that, you can see that the stock video is available. There's a watermark right now, but once it was actually sent to go live, the watermark would be removed because I'd be paying for the license for it but you get unlimited versions of whatever ads you want. But what I wanted to show you was that scroll stopping image. So sure, you could do Shutterstock stock photos, you could upload your own photos, but in this case, let's leverage AI, right? So let's say I wanted to create a stunning uh, image of a young woman doing yoga on the beach during a sunrise. And I could add some more description around the image if I wanted to, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how quickly the AI can come up with a relevant image that would capture the attention of someone who's scrolling by who would meet my ideal target market. So I can make this a bit bigger so you can see, and there you go. It's got that contrast. It's got that, that uniqueness to it that most likely someone who's interested in yoga might stop and be like, oh, that's an interesting image but I could come back in here and change this. I could say doing yoga in a park during sunset. And I could change this to a, an older man doing yoga in a park during a sunset. So now just like that, let's see what the AI comes up with. And here we go. make that bigger. And there you go. Again, a scroll stopping image that now I could download and put into a say Canva if I wanted to edit it further, or I could just say, you know what, that's good enough. I wanted this as square, but I could have done it vertical landscape, etc. So now it's cropping it for square. And just like that, you can see that it's good to go. Now, the third thing is having the variations of the ad. So right here, you can see that it has generated four primary texts for this Facebook ad, as well as four different headlines. Now I could add, you know, some additional uh, entries to the text. I could create my own custom versions if I wanted to, but if I leave it like this and go to add combinations, you can see here that I've got multiple variations of this ad with different headlines that now when I launch it, all of those variations would go into the platform into Facebook in this example, and then the platform would actually do the analysis and optimization for me. So I didn't need to pay an expensive ad agency to do it. And it would actually determine which of the variations is getting the best engagement, getting the best cost per click metrics, metrics, et cetera, and diverting all of the budget that I assigned to it down here to the, the ad variation that's working. So I just wanted to show you how easy it can be to create top-notch ads, but 
Just focus on those three fundamentals like I mentioned and you're golden. If you're curious about this platform that I use with my clients, I will put a link below this video so you can watch a free demo that goes into depth about how you can leverage the platform. And you can also try it for free if you're interested. Uh, hopefully you found this interesting. Stay tuned for more videos in the near future and I will talk to you soon.